So the very first thing we're going to be doing is making the front pocket. And in step one, we're working with zippers. So we're right off the bat in the hard part. Now, when your pattern gives you a measurement for zippers, they are generally talking about the length of the zipper teeth. So from one end to the other, and not necessarily the zipper tape, because there will be some little bits at the either end, so you can sew it in. For this bag, it says I need a 6.3 inch zipper. This is much longer than that. But I have a literal drawer full of zippers that I am trying to find uses for. So this is what I'm going to use. Now, when it comes to zippers, there are generally three different materials that your zipper teeth will be made out of. There's metal, like you would find on your jeans. There's nylon, which is kind of like a coil. And then there is plastic, like I have here. With metal and plastic, you really can't sew over the teeth, where nylon you can. So I need to shorten this zipper, and that's going to require removing some of these teeth. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've marked here where I need the zipper teeth to end. I want a, like an inch or so extra of zipper tape beyond that. So I'll start by trimming this down. So now it's shortened. But if we left it like this and you pulled on your zipper, it's just going to fly off and you're going to have a useless zipper. So I need to remove the teeth from here down. To do that, I'm going to use some pliers and some wire cutters. With the last bag I made, it had metal teeth, and those are actually fairly easy to remove. I'm not sure about with the plastic, though. I'm going to open this up a little ways, and then just start kind of breaking off the teeth. And I want to remove all of the plastic without really damaging the zipper tape. I should probably be wearing safety glasses. All right, so there you can see on this bottom here, I've removed those teeth, and now I just need to do the same on the top. So now I have a shorter zipper tape, and I can sew right up next to those teeth to make sure that the zipper pull doesn't come off when I attach it to my bag. And there we went from about an 18-inch zipper to a six inch zipper. And now I can move on with the rest of my bag construction.